писать. Hey, what's going on YouTube? So for today's video, we're gonna be doing a short trip up to Lytle Creek, California for a little, a little bit of off-road driving and a picnic that we're gonna have with a couple of buddies. Yeah, I said picnic. <laughs> And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Um, I try to bring as much content as I can um, in the time that I have. Uh, I like to do, you know, shooting videos, off-road trips, um, repair videos specific to the FJ80 Land Cruiser. But yeah, please consider hitting subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. Good job blocking traffic. Yeah. Are you gonna wash my necks? Yeah, I'll wash your necks. Five dollars? No thanks. That's how you get the angle. All right, so back to the coffee shop to meet up with everybody else. That was just a quick, uh, quick trail just to kill some time. Ugh. Yeah, but you should be okay. Do you know where your pressures are at right now? Uh, I think I have peak pressures of like 35. You know, I don't mind driving this slow. This is, this is probably as fast as I can go without the truck in front of us anyways. Alright, so change of plans. Instead of uh, stopping in Lytle Creek for that little picnic, we're actually going to head over to Brightwood through, um, what trail is that? Sheeps Canyon? Sheeps Creek Canyon Road? Something like that. Um, yeah, so quick change of plans, I guess. Or since uh, the Subaru guys aren't coming anymore, we can go on a little more difficult trail. See, I told you, this is still how fast I can go without the truck in front of us. And now they're pulling away. That's how we make use of the, uh, that's how we make use of the Land Cruiser overheating, right? That's what we plan to do anyways. Can you get your oil? Right here. Those look 
really dark. I think it's just charred. Golden black. All right, so I don't really know what the issue is. We're suspecting that the Land Cruiser was overheating and maybe my thermostat, my gauge isn't reading correctly. I'm gonna drive with the uh, I don't want to risk trying to continue going up with this thing possibly overheating. Um, but basically, it just wouldn't run. <clears throat> it wouldn't hold idle, basically. Uh, it sucks. It, it kind of threw a wrench in, the, in our plans. But I mean, we got to cook out on a pretty cool spot. We're lucky that the car took a crap where it did because it, there was a nice breeze, a uh, nice view, and um, there was enough room on the trail. Stay tuned and see if I make it down. You know, this brings up a good point that I was trying to make in all my other videos. When it comes to older cars, it's all about baselining. All right, so obviously there's one thing that I didn't check off was that uh, either the radiator or something within the cooling, cooling system. My guess is uh, my temperature gauge is, isn't reading correctly and uh, the car really was overheating. I mean, uh, I've been meaning to change the thermostat out, but I haven't gotten to that yet. Basically, dragging ass on this control. Oh my god. Stop messing! Stop messing! <laughs> well done, look, you can see it. That's it for today guys as you can see you got home safely uh, not too sure what that problem was i think it has something to do with the uh, the thermostat and the cooling system um, meaning that my gauge isn't showing the correct temperature and i'm actually overheating or something like that but but yeah i mean um so we just let it cool down for about an hour you know we we decided to, to just eat on the trail and um it sorted itself out so that sounds like something that's overheating right i mean I, we didn't touch anything you saw us digging around we weren't really doing anything so if you guys haven't already done so please consider subscribing um if you like the video give it a thumbs up it really helps me out but i appreciate your time guys thanks